interacting with you guys and I love being stupidly entertaining for you guys. Push the rock thingy. Come on, you can do it. Oh, there you go. Get your ass gone. Get your ass over there. Oh shit, what the hell? Blam. Blammo, light bridge. Whoa. Triple evil roots plant creature thing. 150 with this game, just imagine every other game. I know, man, you guys are helping me do it. You guys are helping me realize my dream of being a successful streamer. Thank you guys so much. Orgasma's gonna go into her plant armor thing here, and I think we're gonna have a boss battle. Oh, man. She is all plant all the time. That's right, I am stupidly entertaining. I am the king of random. Thank you guys so much. If you guys want to continue the conversation over on Twitter, please use the hashtag WilderGamer. That's WilderGamer without any X's. Thank you guys so much. I am loving interacting with you guys. I am loving bringing you this game. I'm going to bring you so many more in the future. I have so much shit lined up for you guys. I can't wait. For you guys to hear all the stupid shit that I say in all those games too. Greenlands. It's like Greenland, only not. Hell yeah, I'll do a viewer lobby. I will do a viewer game just for you guys. It will be awesome. She saved my life. She saved the entire planet. Alita's sacrifice. The smexy woman I've been following is gone. Well, no, she's still here, all around me. Having given herself up to the monster to save this planet, she willingly shared her life, saving cure at her own expense. I'd like to think she's more at home here, merged within this strange and beautiful ecosystem than in the company of a lonely human being such as myself. Whatever the cause, she saved my life, along with countless other beings on this planet. Are you going to be doing mainly Twitch or YouTube? I'm going to try to be doing both, you guys. I'm still kind of figuring out the Twitch and the YouTube thing. If you guys want to help me, please use the hashtag WilderGamer. We can interact on Twitter. You guys can send me emails. You guys can send me tips, tricks on how to be a YouTuber, how to be a Twitch guy. Because I want to know. <clears throat> this is my first stream where I've had over five viewers. Every other stream I've done, every other video on YouTube I've done, I've never gotten it over double digits. This is insane. We got over 150 Wilder Gamers in this lobby interacting with me, having so much fun. I am loving you guys. You are loving me. I can't wait to bring you guys more. I think we're getting to the end game here and then I'm off to bed, but I love you guys for hanging out with me tonight. I thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. It means the world to me, your support. That is why I do what I do and why I want to keep doing what I do and bring you guys all the love that I can. Thank you guys for... <coughs> thank you guys for all the love you're showing me. It is It, it truly means the world. Countless other lives. There's a wasteland 20 minutes ago. Yeah, that's right. It was a wasteland, wasn't it? It was a desolate, barren place with nothing else on it except the uh, the rape plants. You guys remember the wooden rape dildos? Yeah, I, I fucking remember those. <laughs> Stupid fucking things. Walked right into a bunch of them. And then we had to sacrifice Rocky to one of them. Those sons of bitches. Rocky, no! Alright, I need to jump over this way. <coughs> Damn it! Landed too hard again. Landed way too hard. We got all the way over there. Son of a bitch. Okay, gonna do little bursts. There we go. Land softly. 
Greetings from the UK. Holy shit. I'm all the way over there. Freaking crazy. Internet is amazing. I can connect with people in the UK. I can connect with people on the other side of the freaking world. That is absolutely amazing, man. <laughs> Gotta go. Cool stream, man. Smell you later. Later, Snooze Dragon. You have a good night, man. Get you some sleep. Greets from Austria. Holy shit, Austria? That's freaking sick. I don't think I've ever met anyone from Austria. You, sir, are awesome. <coughs> Rest in peace, his Viking funeral is a great way to show our love to him. That's right. You guys can use the hashtag Rocky or the hashtag WilderGamer to interact with me on Twitter. You can use both in your tweets if you guys like. Greetings from Germany, man. Holy shit, it's 11 a.m. in the UK. Good morning. Good morning, my friend. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I plan to bring you guys so many more games. Games that you love, games that I love. I plan to do uh, viewer lobbies if you guys want to. Uh, you're in Oregon. That's awesome, man. <coughs> I love Oregon. I've been to Oregon. I used to live in Oregon. I went to school in Oregon. I graduated in Oregon. Duncan Shane. <laughs> this is crazy. Wilder Gamer is going international, yo. This is sweet. Thank you guys so much for all the love you're showing me. I am just, I'm geeking out over the numbers and over the, uh, what about hashtag orgasma? Hell yes, use that hashtag orgasma. Spartan chick, you like space? I love space. Let's talk space sometime. Let's do a Kerbal Space Program stream. That would be awesome. You guys can watch me blow shit up and fail miserably. Nightwings in California, that's awesome, man. I've never been there. <coughs> Excuse me. I absolutely love space. If you guys ever want to chat space with me, I'd love to do that. I'm a huge space nerd. If you guys have never seen the show tomorrow, that's T-M-R-O. Use that hashtag T-M-R-O to go check out that show over on YouTube. They are an amazing show full of awesome pe people. It's uh, Benjamin and Carrie Ann Higginbotham. They are phenomenal space geeks, and you should absolutely tell them that Wilder Gamer sent you. But hundreds of years in the future. Leads back to Earth in the future, you say? Portal time. The portal to this planet was a one-way transport mechanism, as we discovered following our initial arrival. We originally assumed it would work like any doorway, that we could return through the same portal device at our convenience. But this was not the case. Thankfully, we eventually discovered the second portal, the departure portal, leading back home. This two-portal system was actually very efficient for transport purposes, and we developed our settlements appropriately to regulate travel back and forth as necessary. But what we didn't comprehend at first was the lost time encountered through the portals. While transport happens quickly, time on Earth and on this planet are not in sync. We soon realized a week on this world was a month back on Earth. When the portals failed, this time, this time disparity became great. When the arrival portal malfunctioned and killed so many people, we became afraid to use the departure portal to return to Earth. Over time, we started to see images we did not recognize on the other side. There were strange, towering structures, more advanced than anything we'd ever seen before. Some believed the portal had recalibrated to the homeworld of the portal creators, but I knew the truth. The images in the portal were of Earth, but centuries in the future. Unfortunately, we never tested our hypothesis given the completely unstable power reactions from the portal. It was far more likely we would suffer a tragic transportation accident like our comrades from home attempting to reach us. 
there were no volunteers and eventually no further opportunities before the portal went dark and cold. In retrospect, I wish we'd taken our chances. Two tree R. Yep, wicked dark metal. Is this the uh, departure portal I'm at right here? And this game just, whew, it gives me goosebumps, you guys. <laughs> you can see that on my arm. Whew. <laughs> if a game, if a video game gives you goosebumps, it is absolutely worth the $15 to at least try and experience it. It is a truly masterful piece of work, and you guys should absolutely check this game out. The game is Lifeless Planet. It is amazing. Need to get that cough checked out, bro. Just saying, because we love you. Thank you, Red Kind. Thank you so much for the kind words. Oh, man. I don't know about you guys, but that looks like fucking home. That looks like Earth. Is anyone getting uh, flashbacks of Halo 3 right here? The ending of Halo 3 on the Warthog? This has been such an amazing journey and it ends, I think it ends here with this long trek to the portal. Let me reiterate what I've been saying all night long. When I started this stream, I never had more than five viewers a stream. You guys have blown that number out of the water with over 150 wilder gamers here in the chat room here watching my stream live i love each and every one of you guys this is so awesome to be bringing you guys this i cannot wait to bring you guys more i have had so much fun tonight interacting with you guys being stupidly funny being the king of random as i do i love doing this shit this game is amazing if you haven't had enough of a reason to go check out this game i hope watching my stream has made you reconsider because this game is a true masterpiece if this is the end i loved every single second i was in it it was dripping with atmosphere it was dripping with story with narrative with good gameplay period this game is the reason i play games for an amazing story for anything else go check out call of duty go check out your grand theft autos you got halo you got all kinds of shit but for a good narrative story that pulls you through and makes you want to complete it to the end in one go check out lifeless planet this has been awesome you guys are awesome. Thank you so much to continue our conversation over on Twitter. Please use that hashtag, WilderGamer. You guys are awesome. Let's check this shit out. As I understand, you've kept your wife on life support. It sounds like you haven't been able to let her go. Actually, I did it for her. I want to give her every chance to live again. Fucking Even if I'm not here. called it. All in his head. It's all in his fucking head. I knew it. You guys, that is what a good game is. You guys are absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for joining me for this amazing journey through a lifeless planet. That 
was what a narrative story is all about. That is why I play video games. That experience gave me chills up my spine. It gave me goosebumps.